Hello and welcome to TechX Media. We are at DP World Tour Championship 2025 at Jumeirah Golf States, where AWS has uh, signed a landmark partnership with DP World Tour, where they will be bringing artificial intelligence and data-driven insights to the world of golf. And joining me today is Nina Wall. She is global leader, industrial business development, media, entertainment, sports, and games at AWS. Let's welcome Nina on TechX Media. Thank you very much for having me and well done. You got my full title, <laughs> which is a long one. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have traveled recently to UAE and uh, so I tell have. us, how is it going? I love being here. Uh, I've been in Saudi four times this year. I've been in Dubai twice. Um, absolutely love the region. It's very exciting for us. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, happy to be here for the DP World Tour Championship. Very yes. exciting. It's a great place and great event, of course. Uh, so Nina, uh, AWS has previously closely worked with PGA mm. and now uh, DP World Tour. Uh, now you are taking it uh, further with something called Agentic AI. Mm -hmm. Tell us what difference is it going to make in the tournament operations? Yeah, so from a tournament operations perspective, what we're uh, introducing with DP World Tour is an intelligence platform, um, basically to track all of the operations that are happening. Um, as you can see, it's a huge operation to put on a tournament and DP World Tour do 42 of these uh, in 26 different countries. So where Agentic can come in and using um, services like Bedrock and QuickSuite from our point of view is to track all of those insights and be able to display them in a way so that the um, DP World Tour can make decisions on, um, you know, do they need to um, introduce some more food and beverage outlets or how do they track the movement of people around the course themselves? It's providing uh, all of the data to enable those insights to help them perform their role more easily. Very interesting. So uh, Nina, we see that this partnership has been termed as the, uh, as any unlike any other partnerships. <laughs> Tell us what makes it so distinctive. So for us, um, we like to partner with um, customers who are very innovative and, and breaking new ground in their fields. Um, so for us, DP World Tour is one of those. It's a global brand, uh, it's a global tournament, as I said, 42 different tournaments globally working in different parts of the world. AWS is a global company as well. And so for us to be able to partner together as they're just beginning their cloud transformation journey is really exciting. Um, we'll be able to see all, of, all the befores and then all the afters as we work through some of these key initiatives together. Great. Uh, we have also heard about Green Drive Live mm. platform. Yes. Uh, tell us how is it integrated in the game of golf? And how is it going to uh, give uh, real-time uh, insights during the tournament, during the game of golf? So with Green Drive Live, um, if you think about everything that's going on, as I said, at a tournament, um, being able to have the data insights to be able to track all of the sustain sustainability aspects is really key. Um, so again, your logistics, your your food and beverage, all of those aspects. So being able to track them so that you know where is there potential efficiencies that can be made in future is really important. Um, for us, obviously, we care about sustainability in, in general and helping our customers to be able to achieve their sustainability goals. So as you just mentioned about some of the services AWS mm. has, AWS is bringing multiple services like Bedrock, Elemental and Recognition. Yes. Tell us that uh, what kind of fan experiences it brings and in simple words, if you can explain that, what different are the difference are, are these services making? Yeah, so if you think about golf, um, it's very different to other sports uh, where you might have one pitch or one field um, for soccer or, or for cricket. Uh, with, with golf, you've got 18 different fields of play. Um, so that creates a lot of complexity. There's also 150 players that are playing those various holes. And so where technology and where our elemental services come in is being able to capture all of those um, shots and then be able to display them to fans in a way that they want to capture and, and view their content. Um, so being able to ensure that we've got every element from every different hole uh, to be able to provide the story to the fans out there so that they feel like they're part of it, no matter whether they're here on course watching or whether they're at home um, in various parts of the world. So using our services to, to capture um, each and every element 
and then be able to use um, like bedrock and recognition to be able to uh, turn that the footage itself into data insights that help tell the story is what we're passionate about and what we think will help take DP World to, a, to that next level of fan experience um, for their audiences out there. Very interesting. So after this, the most obvious question <laughs> that comes in mind is when are fans going to experience the first tangible uh, have the first tangible <laughs> experience as a result of this partnership. Right now, we are actively working on um, digitizing the 50-year media archive, um, which is awesome. I mean, they've got 50 years worth of footage, 50 years worth of stories and insights um, that by uh, digitizing that through our media asset management, um, it then will be able to be used to develop things like high highlight reels or, um, you know, look back at the archives over the years to be able to pull out some of those stories uh, of golf and how it's evolved over the years and also how players um, have changed, um, how their style has potentially changed over the time. So again, like bringing forward those storytelling aspects. And then around some of the agentic pieces, um, we're working on those, uh, we're just starting work on those. So I'd say sort of by mid Next year, fans out there will start to see some of that come to life for them on their screens. I think, Nina, this is the right thing for you to be here in UAE. Weather is changing, it's getting... Beautiful yeah. temperature, yeah. yeah. So tell me, what do you do outside of work? Uh, do you play golf? I do, actually. Uh, I like to play golf. I'm not amazing. I need some more practice. Uh, I think playing on courses like this would be helpful. Um, but yeah, this is part of my job that I love is when I get to work with... Uh, sports that are yes. something that I'm passionate about. So yes, yeah. with all the technologies coming in, I think in a couple of years you will be pro in it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope I have enough time to practice. Yes. So how do you think in a couple of years with all these technologies, agentic AI, uh, data-driven insights, game of golf is going to evolve when, <laughs> over the um, next five years? I think that's one of the most exciting parts. So technology is evolving rapidly, as you know, but so are audience appetites for content. Um, so I think you think about the younger generation, they're much more watching more content on their phones, micro dramas uh, is, a, is a trend at the moment. And so I think for us, it's figuring out what are customer, uh, sorry, what are audiences interested in and how can we provide them um, that content in the best way possible for them to enjoy it, wherever they are, at home, on the course, um, traveling, whatever the case may be. So it's an exciting time for sure. Great conversation, Nina. It was a pleasure talking to you and uh, we wish you luck for the event, for this partnership. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for watching.